Hey, Daryl. Hey, Juan, how you doing? Good, bud. I see it looks like you're working on that custom deck material. Yeah, we are. We're working on that decking material for that uh, historical restoration we're doing. Okay. Now, exactly what are we, how'd you get to this point right here? Well, we've run it through the planer, and we've run it through a table saw, and then plane the edges on it to okay. get it down to a thickness that we're looking for, which okay. is an inch and a quarter. So now, when you say you run it through a planer, that's a tool that we have yes, sir. that takes a thicker board and then makes it, planes it down to whatever thickness that we want. And in this case, we want inch and a quarter, uh, which is five quarter. Yes. So that's the thickness that we've done. And then now, this was what, a two by six or something, I assume? Yes, it was. Okay. And now, width-wise, we are at what? Four and a half. Okay. And the reason why you've made it long is because you're getting ready to cut a groove in the back, which would be the tongue. Yes. I mean, I'm sorry, the groove. The groove, yes. And then you'll chamfer the two sides, which will give us a tongue. Yes. Okay. Now, have you got anything cut as far as uh, where we can show the groove? We do want. There's that one right here that we've already gotten done. Okay. Right here, we've got the groove. Okay. And this is uh, what, about a half inch deep? Half inch deep, half inch wide. Okay. And that way, when you cut this other side, you're going to cut, and the two side pieces will be cut, and there'll be just the middle left. Yes. And then that we'll will slide that. inside of this, and that's how we get our tongue and groove. Yes. Okay. Now, what's neat about this is the fact that because it's a historical home, and we're doing this in conjunction with the MDAH, um, it's how they would have made it back in the day. Exactly. Of course, they didn't have the tools that we no. have, but nonetheless, they would have made it pretty much like this as well. Yes. Okay, so you've got this all set up. I see you got like a little jig set up here. Yeah, it's just to keep in pressure on it and keep it nice and even when we're rolling through, pushing it through. Okay, well, let's, let's see what you got. Sure. Now the type of wood that we're using is southern yellow pine. Yes, the reason why we're using this is because it's structural. Yes it is. Because a lot of times when they frame back in those days, they put wider spans between their joists. But today we are required to have a 16 inch space. They may have 24 inches, sometimes 30 inches. So with this being uh, yellow pine, where they've got a wider span, this will compensate for that. Yes it will. Okay. So now, as we can see here, we've got a nice trough cut out, which is going to be our groove, and it's right down the center. Now that takes a little bit of time. but Man, can you imagine having to do this by hand? No, I couldn't. Woo, that'd be unbelievable. <laughs> Thanks, thank goodness for modern technology uh, in the form of a router here. Now, our router is a three-horse router, correct? Yes, it is. And because of what we're doing here, we need to have something that's a little more power. Absolutely. A lot of the other DeWalt routers that we have are a little bit smaller in terms of the horse. They would not have enough power to do what we're doing here. No, they wouldn't. That is correct. Well, okay, it looks like you got a lot of work to do ahead of you, so let me get out of your hair. When you're done with this, you'll be flipping it over and we'll check back with you to see about doing the uh, tongue side of it. Excellent. All right, bud, thanks. Thanks, Juan. Well, we're over here at Krebs, our historical project, and I just did a final inspection and walkthrough. The homeowner, Mr. Payne, is very satisfied. As you can see here, we have a before of what the project looked like before it was painted and all the work was done. And now you have an after shot showing all the work completed and the paint job complete. It's an amazing transformation.